Good morning, guys. It's now 6.45. I am still pumping. I have about 10 minutes left in my pumping session. My first pump of the day is usually about 40 to 45 minutes long. I wanted to bring you guys along for the morning in my life and what my morning routine looks like with the newborn and two toddlers. The girls and my husband are still sleeping. I'm about to wake up Jelani, who is my oldest daughter, so I can get her ready for summer camp and start my day. I usually like to start my day off by taking a shower and just getting myself ready, but I was just so tired last night that I did not wash my pump parts. So I needed to get a baby a bottle this morning and wash my pump parts before I can actually start my day. So I won't be able to take a shower until after Jelani is dressed and out the door. Okay, so I put Jelani in the shower. So really quick, I have about 20 seconds left on my pump session. So let's just see how much milk I got this morning. I had my last pump session last night around 10.30. Hold on, let's put the baby down first. This is from the right side. It was actually overflowing, so I have milk in my bra now. And here is my left side. I need to actually pour this into the pitcher to see how much milk this is, but just like glancing at it, it's probably about 20 or so ounces of milk. So, yay, now I have to go get my daughter ready. Did I eat that? Mm -mm. It's so pretty. Now let's go brush your teeth. <laughs> All right, Justin just took Jelani to school, so I'm gonna try to get a quick shower in while Jalea and the baby are still sleeping. guys so I am now dressed for today and the girls are still sleeping so I'm just gonna take this time to clean my bottles make bottles for today and clean my pump parts so I can have clean pump parts for my next two pump session usually Julia goes to Justin's mom's house for the day when we're working but she's sick so we're keeping her home again today um, and the baby is also trying to come down with the cold so I'm not really sure how my morning is going to go, so I'm just trying to get as much done as possible before I log in for today. I usually try to log in for work around 8.30, but because it's already 8.15, I don't think that I'm going to have time to um, 
clean all these bottles and log in in time. So I'll probably just log in at 9 o'clock today. And by then, the baby should be up for her bottle. So we'll see how this goes. It has been a calmer morning than usual. Normally, my mornings are very chaotic, especially with the baby and the two older girls getting them ready to get out of the house. But luckily, my husband is um, responsible for taking them to school and to his mom's house. That way I have time to clean bottles and get the baby sorted for the day before I begin my work day. So I was able to wash all the dishes and prepare bottles for the rest of the day while the girls are still sleeping. And I logged on to check my calendar to make sure I wasn't going to miss anything since it is now 8.50. And luckily, I only have one call today, which isn't until 12 o'clock, which is great. Um, so that means that I could just take my time and show you guys how the rest of my mornings usually go right after I log in for work. Um, like I said, Jalea usually goes to Justin's mom's house throughout the week while we're working and I keep the baby at home with me, but today she's feeling a little sick. So I decided to just let her stay home today and just watch her closely to see if we need to take her to the pediatrician or not. But as of right now, she's still sleeping. So is the baby. The baby's coming down with a cold. So I'm really going to be watching her closely to make sure that it doesn't get worse and she doesn't get a fever because I do not want to experience having a sick newborn she's only seven weeks and yeah i experienced rsv with julia when she was a couple months old but i can't even imagine how horrible it would be with a smaller baby so i'm definitely keeping an eye on her and i just been cuddling with her and with baby wearing her for like the past couple of days when the rest of the family were sick over the weekend so fingers crossed it doesn't get worse than what it is because i do not want to have her get sick because I know I'm going to go to the hospital if she does. Thank you. Where's the baby? Then the bed too. So it is time for my second pump of the morning, but before I sit down and eat my breakfast and pump, I wanna check on the baby to make sure that she's okay. Oh, I stink a baby. 
babies. What's the matter, girl? What's the matter? Ah. Let's go to the office journey. Let's go to mommy's office. Okay, stinker butts. Time to go in your bouncer. All right, moms with toddlers. I need to know, how do y'all keep y'all toddlers to sleep in their own room all night? Because Jelani and Julia start off sleeping in their room when Justin puts them to bed and then around like two, three o'clock in the morning, they sneak back into our bed. So I need to know, how do you guys get them to sleep in their room all night? Because I would like to have my bed back, but it doesn't seem like that's gonna happen anytime soon. Cause I feel like we're in a constant battle of trying to get them to sleep in their own bed and it's just not working out for us. So at this point, I don't know what else we could do, but I need my bed back. All right guys, so I'm going to go ahead and eat my breakfast and finish my second pump of the day and try to get a little bit more work done before Julia wakes up. So I will catch you guys on my next vlog. If you like this type of video, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and hit subscribe down below if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.